Digital Digital Podcast Season 2, Episode 29. Round of applause, please. I was I was looking forward to the round of applause from the studio audience here. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I like to see. It is okay. They, they get carried away. Guys, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast. I am uh so grateful to be here. I'm so happy to be here. Before we do anything, the presenting sponsor for the You Should Know Podcast is Manscaped! You can get 20% off of free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. Thank you to Manscaped for being the presenting sponsor of the You Should Know podcast. I want to say, hey, I don't know by the time that this is uploaded if we've done it or not, but we're about to hit 20,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. It feels like two days ago, we were at 17,000. Y'all are moving quick and I love you. Thank you to everybody that's clicking that subscribe button, going below, fulfilling that comment section, and getting your good karma. Also, to the people that are in the Discord, y'all are going crazy in there. Y'all are having a good time building a community in there. It is it is a beautiful sight to see everybody inside of the Discord making friends, becoming a, a, a real community, showing so much support to me, co-host Cam, and the whole You Should Know family. Speaking of fans... I want to say something over the week. And actually it's been a while that this has been happening. We've been getting messages from you guys um, saying how impactful this show is on your lives. And I'm not going to go into detail because the stuff that y'all say is private. And I, and I've been told to keep it private, but I just want to say to the people watching right now and listening on Spotify, iTunes, Apple, whatever the hell you listen to this on the people watching on YouTube. I want to say if you're going through something, in your, in your life right now, it might not be the best time, family, friends, work, whatever it is. I want you to take every Monday or whenever you're watching this, I want this time that you're here to spend an hour to forget everything. Forget everything that's weighing you down and just enjoy the time with me and co-host Cam because you are a part of this and we love you and we need you here. So if you're going through anything, please, please, Please don't think you're alone because you have the whole You Should Know family on your side and we love you to death. I just want to say that. Thank you. Y'all mean the world to us. Also, we have a P.O. box now. The address is going to be right here on the screen. If you want to have your art somewhere here on the set or if you just want something here in the studio or if you want to give a gift to me and co-host Cam, if you've got merch, anything, we can take it. The address will be right here on the screen to the audio listeners, and it will be in the description of the podcast. We also, also, last announcement, I know that these intros are just announcements, but I got to keep you up to date. How else will you know if you don't follow me on Instagram? I don't know why you're not, but if you're not, for some reason, you don't like me, you have a disdain for me, my face disgusts you, you can only get me once a week, and you're not following me on Instagram, I got to give the announcements here. The merch is almost done. Now, when I'm saying that, we are a couple of days away from finalizing the merch and oh i cannot wait for y'all to see this i cannot wait for y'all to hold these fabrics because it's not no dingy youtuber merch influencer merch that these people are ripping you off with no 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 no. it's premium quality that's why it's been taking so long because i've been putting my blood sweat and tears to make sure y'all get a good product and i want y'all to wear this you should know merch with pride and people asking you what should I know? It'd be like, mm, you should know. You know what I mean? If you're following me on Instagram, you would have gotten a little sneak peek of the merch. I, I hid it in the background of a story one time. No one called it out in the Discord. No one swiped up on the story saying they saw it. So you got to be following on Instagram. You got you get a little bit of, get a little bit of twinkly tidbits on there. All right. That's enough announcements. It's going to be a great episode. Co-host Cam is in the building. He is on 10 right now. He punched me right in my sternum area. Where is my sternum? Not quite sure. Out of excitement, and it scared me. And so he is, he's full of excitement. So this is going to be a Zoomies-filled podcast. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here, and let's enjoy the rest of the podcast. Oh, you know what time it is. Welcome to Fresh Ball Fall. It's the season of pumpkin spice and making sure that crotch looks nice. That means sipping cider in a fall breeze and using Manscaped products to trim your balls with ease. That's right. 
Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped, a company here to make sure that your foliage isn't the only thing shedding its excess leaves. Heck, even Mother Nature knows it's time to lose the excess clutter for fall. So join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with code PSH at checkout. I use Manscaped. I love it. Look at this shirt. You can get it on Manscaped. You can get travel bags. You can get platinum packages, performance packages, anything you boxers, stuff for the shower, deodorant for the balls. Who who does that? Manscaped does. And you know where you can go? Go to manscaped.com, 20% off and free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. That's 20% off and free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. Thank you to Manscaped and thank you to everybody that's using that promo code. Now on to the rest of the podcast. Oh, we got Carlos Cam back in the building. Cam? <laughs> no, let it out. Let it out. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All I right, hope you didn't right, crash. All right. Audio listeners, but... We're back at it again. Episode 29. You know what that is? That's one away from 30. You know what happens at 30? Nothing. It's just another episode. But maybe I lied. Maybe I didn't. You have to come back next week to figure out if 30 is just an episode. Ooh, big 30. Anyway, we're right back at it. Let's go. I told you. Let's get to it. I told y'all. Today's my day. It's it's just, we're going to have, you know what? It's going to be an experience. This This isn't an episode. This is an experience. Let's go. You all right? I'm great. You need I'm water? All right. You need water? I'm not good. I'm great. <laughs> that's an inside that's joke. A very that, inside, yeah. uh, that's hope, funny. Hope I'm in trouble. All right. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll take you to the review team yeah, during we'll, the edit. It's uh, all good. How have you been? How have you been? How was your week? Do the pinky? Do the pinky? No, I don't want to do that. We pinky. said on the the other Add episode the that we're not you doing the pinky. I don't want to do the pinky. I don't want to do the pinky. Two, one. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? We're not doing anything else. I said add the pinky. He said no. That's it. Can we do something? That's how negotiations work. You want to negotiate? I said no. So there's no negotiation. You do (laughs) negotiate. See? See? If I hold my arm here for five more seconds, there will be sweat that drips onto this carpet. If you make fun of me one more time, I'm punching our son right in the face. You say you don't like Dragon. I love Dragon, but if you make fun of me, he gets gets all the the, uh, repercussions. He doesn't deserve that. All right, then. So give me the pinky. I want to say something. There we go. That's that's a negotiation. (laughs) I want to say something. In the Discord, there's like a split decision on if they like Dragon or not. Some people are like, I'm terrified of Dragon. And some people are like, oh, we love Dragon. I'm going to go, ooh, if you love him, you can stay on board. Ooh, if you're terrified, get the hell out. No, no, no. No, I love. I'm kidding. We love all of you, but Dragon's here to stay. He is. He is a part of us. He's a part of you. We're all part of one. It's synergy. (laughs) It's synthesis. We are all together. He's here, so if you don't like him, you better learn to love him. That's right. Not like him. Love him. Because he's staying. You see him? He's got some more air in him. He's rocking his adult small shirt. Looks like a little onesie, like a moo moo almost. But that's that. He's good. He's here to stay. So get with it. Get out. I'm kidding. I'm, I don't Let's even. Let's go foot to foot right now. I don't know what's I don't going know, on. I don't know either, but come on. Foot to foot. There you go. Can you, do All right. the, can you do the thing you did last episode and slapped upon my foot? No, you have a shoe on. It would hurt my knuckles. I had a shoe on last time. And it hurt my knuckles. So. <laughs> I had 550s on there or, or, or a lot more. Ooh, five, a lot more sturdy. Ooh, Ooh, whatever, dude. My cool. name's Cam. Ooh, I, I got a big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, you heard that? You go, oh, there's one. Keep it up. Keep it up. He's going to be missing some of those vicious teeth if you keep it up. You got- I got what? <laughs> you got- <laughs> but, hey, we're back again. Not. What are you doing? Your hips. My okay. Ooh, I got a bad hip. Yeah. Well, it's not hurting today. What'd you say? Yeah. Oh, tell him live. Cam's Cam's wife is in is in the uh, of course she in is. the building. So I have to be careful of making fun yeah. of him. But I have no defense here. Ooh, I get made fun of every week. Ooh, solo. <laughs> <laughs> all okay. Right, all hey. right. Episode 29, um, Yep. like Peyton said in the intro, uh, we're super grateful, super thankful for all of you being here, continuing to come back, bringing others with you. Uh, this is truly a community and a family, and we are just happy to keep it rolling, keep it going, week in, week out, keep it up. Get your hand out of your pants. It's, it's, I, I, I got to buy new underwear, dude. Then get your hand out of your pants. It's like I'm swallowing them up again. It's get just Get your happens. hand out of your pants. 
We're sitting on a kid. Yeah, you have, you have some, some hand sanitizer now? What's going on? Because I'll be damned if you try to dap me up with that, your little poop hand later. Do I poop from the front now? I, I don't know if you picked in the front, the back. I don't know. Your ass should be <laughs> munching on your underwear. That's the thing. As a child, did you? I know we were all ignorant as children, and we didn't really know how the human body worked. That's true. I thought the you know whenever you know when people give birth, right? And there's a there's a cord. I thought it was called the identical cord. <laughs> the id. Yep, this one's mine. It's connected to me. Uh, I think this is the right one. The I what, don't. I what don't is know. identifying it through the cord? Because like that's you know you're related, so that you're identical. Yeah, I, I quite am related to the the being that's coming out of the woman that I made, went fifty fifty in and, and made that with. Yeah, we're we're related. I'm are you gonna you cut the with. Are you gonna cut the identical cord whenever you have a kid? The ethical cord? <laughs> I didn't say that. That's you said, I, are you gonna cut the ethical cord? That's an identical. Either one of them's wrong, but yeah, I'm gonna cut the umbilical cord. Right. That's what it's called. Can I be there? Can sure. I help hold the scissors? Nope. Okay. I'm baby. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have. It's gonna be a, a big in-house baby. Not I'm gonna not lie. gonna. I'm not gonna. We're be not in pregnant right now, so no, 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 we're no. talking a lot about children. They're not even in existence yet. I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I can't. Like even like you're gonna cry. Oh no, he's I'm gonna, gonna cry. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, snip. And go to get his reaction. He's gonna be like, <laughs> "Oh, I'm not gonna be in the room. See. I'm not gonna be in the room. No, you're not. I can't see that. No, 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 no. yeah, that's no, 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 no. And even, no, even like, if it might. Oh, <laughs> whoa! I'll see y'all in the in the lobby. Even like, I'm saying this now, but I know if I ever in an alternate universe find love and then get married, um, and have a kid, I don't know if I could be there. You have to be. People, um, people got weird morning routines. The thing that really upsets me that I found out that a lot of people do, and if anybody watching this podcast does this, we have now a, an underlying beef that is, is <laughs> strong. You all right? Yeah. Um, if, if, if the first thing that you digest in the morning, if the first thing you digest in the morning isn't water, you should be on the FBI's most wanted list. People that wake up and immediately go to the coffee. Yeah, I can't do that. That's, that's foul. That's one thing that I did implement. I started drinking water, like even if it's a little amount, just good old flush, flush the toxins, good old, good old about eight ounces of water, just straight. Are you measuring it? Nope, but it's pretty easy to guess it. You can guess eight ounces. What are you, a scientist? Nope, just a human that drinks water. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, you can twitch that little foot all you want. Eight ounces isn't that hard, buddy. We. We have uh, also implemented a rule in the You Should Know podcast that I haven't even told you about. I'm about to say, we have? <laughs> no, so I have. have. Yeah, there we I go. Uh, I will no longer be digesting that coffee. What? Oh, no, yeah. No, no I can't. can't. No, I can't. That's, that's a, it was an unspoken rule, but now it's we, we have it in writing. He's not allowed to have that drink from Starbucks. And the crazy part is, there's a ton of comments like, three shots of espresso, that's it. That's kind of the point. Yeah. I'm making like, three shots is not... I mean, it's espresso, it's going to get you there, but it's not, like, wild. Like, there were some of y'all, like, his three is what happens to me when I take eight. If he took eight, he'd be crawling <laughs> up the wall, like the scene from the movie Legion, and she's like, your baby's going to burn. And she starts crawling up like a spider. He would literally turn into a... Uh, some extraterrestrial being if he had eight shots. I don't person. know why people were trying to like compete with me. Like they were like, I do 18 every morning. I'm like, sorry, you have an addiction. Like <laughs> I don't can't, I can't fix that. No, he, I mean, three shots of espresso for him is, oh, it's not, it's too much. It's, not that, it's yeah, too it's, much. It's like a, you need to, you need to tone it back down. I'm having a lot of nostalgia in this room right now because we have all of our, our college friends. I wish that they were kind of on the, on the podcast right now to talk about stories of, of college, but I was looking. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but I didn't prep them to like come up <laughs> yeah, here with yeah, stories. Yeah. Um, there is a story that I have about um, a college party we went to where I did make a mistake. Okay, it was There's multiple of those. We gotta, <laughs> now we got to. I've already down. I've already told the story where I was hiding in the bathtub whenever the uh, the campus police came in and yeah. I panicked. Yeah. Were you there for that? I was the RA. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was the snake yeah, that she set us up. <laughs> but um, we went to a bigger university that was 30 minutes away for this like house party, right? And this was like my first like real college party. And I didn't know how things worked. Like, <laughs> mm. 
That was pretty good. On that was really good. <laughs> That's solid. Okay. Oh, you're talking about me. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm not used no, to you I, giving I me compliments. Mine was good. Okay. I knew my part was solid. Right. I, I wouldn't put something out here if it wasn't good. I'm talking about you. Okay, back to it. So I didn't know like the social structure of college parties and what like th certain things happen that I didn't yeah. know that happened. Again, a lot of unspoken rules. A lot like, of unspoken unwritten, rules. Unwritten, unspoken. You just got to know it. And this one rule, I wish it was spoken. So <laughs> I was... I was in this party. I might have had a bit of little liquid courage in me. Oh, yeah, college. You're young. You're having fun. That's what I was doing. So the music was going. I was sweating. I was doing my thing, dancing, having my fun. But then all of a sudden, it seemed like a, a parade of people, a train of people started uh -oh. to maneuver their way through the party. Oh. And then everybody like started to part the Red Sea, started to just move out of the way. And I was like, what? what is that who are these people yeah, like is what, it, are is, they are they work like who is this an invasion what's, yeah. ha what's happening i was like who are, i've never seen these people before what is their job here what, what are they here to accomplish yeah. but then they started to all like in sync synchronized <laughs> move their shoulders yeah they they were all, and like really good like they've been practicing this before yeah. and i'm like did did, did, did i miss for this did i miss the rehearsal for this party like yeah. i didn't know we were in high school musical where's my team Do yeah we, are we next what's happening <laughs> exactly so they were all doing their thing and people started pulling out their phones flashes were on and they were looking into the cameras making a bunch of like you know promiscuous faces and i was like oh they got it they're them a lot of people like them yeah i want to be involved in that now i didn't know there was a sign up sheet there's so there is a there is a bunch sign up of sheet, team meetings practices <laughs> tryouts i didn't yeah, know that i had to it. do that full-blown organization yeah to be involved in this cool little train of dancing the liquid courage was in me this is my first time i didn't know the rules when they were in their little circle doing their shimmies, breaking it real low, this is when I had good knees. I could I could get down with Meg them. Knees. Oh yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I had that. Eh. Well, no. yeah, you used to you used to throw something back. What? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so they were in their in their circle and i saw the attention that they were getting the girl that i liked in the party was filming them and i was like oh no i need to be involved in be this on that camera oh 100 percent, i will be on her story tonight so as they were dancing i said this is my time to shine i jumped in their little their little train of dancing didn't know what I was doing. I just followed the shoulder movements. I started to, you know what I'm saying? I was in there doing my thing. Not even five seconds. It was like the third shoulder roll. I get picked up like oh, this. Yeah. My feet weren't on the ground anymore. Levitation. My feet aren't, yeah. My, I didn't choose to be lifted up like yeah. this. I didn't go to Hogwarts. <laughs> Why am I levitating? And there, Someone has grabbed me. And then as soon as I did that, it was a bunch of, oh, 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 oh. And I was like, oh, I messed up bad. Like, yeah. this is bad. And then somebody pulled me to the side and said, if you do that again, we're going to beat your ass. And I said, I was just trying to join the dance. I didn't know what was going on. Little did I know those were uh, things called, I believe, noops. Yeah. And um, they, they take that dancing very seriously. Oh, and yeah. I, I, I apologize to all the noops. They, somebody, I don't know if this is the same organization, but somebody had a cane. Mm -hmm. I did grab the cane. <sighs> I thought like that was just like the, the chalice for the night. I didn't know it was an award. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, my the first so I the first I don't think it was at the first. <laughs> I just stuttered so bad. <laughs> yes, I just said, it's the coffee. <laughs> I just said I don't the first, I don't even I think mine was the first. <laughs> All right, so my first encounter with said organization. I was in the back and I was like, hey, is this the ROTC? I was like, why? Is this a military group? Why do they all have camouflage? Are we sending them off to battle? They, they all look like soldiers. I said, what is this group? Because they're all, they come out in their camo down. They're screaming, doing their stuff. I'm like, they're going to battle. Like this is, this is, this college's platoon that we are now shipping to the other side of the world. They were so luck. cool. Thank you. And yeah, and I said, oh, the, Oh, that's not, this isn't military. Okay. They're just some cool guys all doing the same little thing. So my, uh, what's the right word? My, uh, you got to find it. We can cut it out if think. we don't like it. Yeah, but we're the one click kid. We don't, we don't cut a lot of stuff. That's out. a fact. Um, my, my role in said group of collegiate basketball team is tick. Where, where are you going? What's, where are you going? I don't know. The camera's like flushing me out. Sorry. So my uh, my said role, 
I'd say eight out of ten times every time we go to an event. I, I was the um, one, if not two of us, in a polite and respectful <laughs> way, the the token Caucasian yes, of our, yes, of our yes. group. Yes, yes, You were. With that comes responsibilities. It does. I have to uphold <laughs> the token Caucasianness of our said establishment, but at the same time, I have I am with my brothers, not brothers because of you know just, we're brothers. <laughs> we share the we same know. jersey. We know. Yeah. Um, but you have a lot of eyes on you. Things can go really right or really wrong for very you. Very wrong. Very wrong. Yeah. Or subpar in the right direction. Yes, like yes. oh that guy's cool. Yeah. Okay. So one of these things happen, a whole conga train breaks out. <laughs> they do their military esquire stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, and I can move decently. We right. all know this. Like, I'm not about to just come out there and hit you with a Dancing with the Stars performance. But I can come out there. And, you know, my shoulders got some lube in them. The knees were decent. Never had Megan knees. But hips, you know, one of them was shaking. Oh, oh, oh. One of them was shaking. Oh. But I used that to the advantage. I'd let that one be the one that drops often. That could get me low enough. And I'd just fight through the pain and just kind of wince on the way up. But so with this, back to the responsibility part. Essentially, I don't know, every time we went out, some song breaks out, everyone, everyone's, you know, doing mm -hmm. their stuff, and then it's just like, say everyone's looking this way, then it's just like, Oof. it's like, camp. Yeah. It was never like a, let me just feel this out, let me do it myself, it was always like, alright, we've all danced, it's your turn, white boy. <laughs> And it's all like the it's literally it was never just like I could never do my own thing. It was always like, all right, go. And, and I'm just like and I was like, oh. so, of course, sweat starting to perspire, heart starting to. Right. So I, I have to perform. Right. Yeah. There's some nights where the entire location would be like, oh, OK, good job. Go. Da, da, da. But I got about 15 to 20 seconds of dancing in me before I start to get in my own head. <laughs> So this one night, the same with you, you know, let the, let the hip hang a little bit, right. get low, hit the whole little shoulders one night. So they want me to do what they're doing. Mm. And I said, see, I don't think you understand. I didn't go to this choreography <laughs> session. I'm not going to be on the same I level. I didn't go to rehearsals. This will not be good. Yeah. And you will laugh at me. So due to those circumstances, I'm not going to perform for you. I'm not going to set myself up for failure. Right. As I thought, at least. So I get pressured and pretty much shoved into doing this. <laughs> And they're like, no, you got it, bro. You got, you got it, bro. And they <laughs> shoved me out there. And I'm, so now I'm... Oh, oh. Then right behind, as soon as they shove me, it's like... <laughs> they close the gate, make this circle. So I'm now in... Again, this is not at the same location yeah. that night. I was there. I know what you're talking about. But in another circumstance. I'm now in this circle with nothing but 50 of these... <gasps> Oh, get it, white boy! Go show us what you got! <laughs> Screaming. Oh, let's see it! And I'm just like... <sighs> like a full-blown fever dream. Just panic. And <laughs> in this one circumstance, I was sitting here, so I'm like, all right, this is... Okay, for the next 10 seconds, this is me in my own head. I'm like, all right, we got to perform. We got to give them what they want. I just don't know. I don't want to make a fool of myself. I was so deep in thought, mm -hmm. I literally went like this. I tried, I tried to just break the barricade and get out of the circle. I tried to flush my way through the smallest of crevice and get out. And all of a sudden, I'm getting shoved back in. I'm like, no, dog, I, I really don't want to. I can't do this right now. Let me out of here. So I finally get out. Every single person, if they knew me, didn't know me, my own teammates, everyone. Bro, you suck. You know that? You're a loser. You suck. So now, not only did I not perform, right. but I got made fun of. Then I spent the rest of the night by myself in devastated loneliness Aww. and sad because I couldn't live up to this expectation of being the one of two, possibly three, depending on the night and team, um, token Caucasians to go out in. You, it, oh, oh. There's a beast right next to me. And uh, it, it was sad. It, you have was, a good success rate, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely have more wins than losses yeah. in those uh, scenarios. But that that, that was yeah, my you're biggest very thought. You're very loved in, that, in the community. That night was worth about four L's. It's it, all right. It, it wasn't just a singular loss. It, it was like I does. didn't perform. It was on camera. I then got ridiculed. <laughs> then no one spoke to me. So four L's one night. But what do you do when you get an L? You bounce back. The exact words out of my mouth. That's oh, yeah. Back. Here we go. I think my wisdom tooth is growing in. You should probably get it removed. Uh-uh. Yep. Nope. You had braces? Yep. Probably get it removed. Why? If you have braces, your teeth were this, you fix them to this, your wisdom teeth comes in, they go back to this. 
I, I'm getting veneers though. You're not, so that was a consensus. I just got like oh, a, like two it. like they just in sync said no you're not. Yeah, well, yeah. I, exactly. Why not? I, I, that's I mean, you have I, good I, teeth. There's no need to. <laughs> there's no need to rip them out of your skull and get fake ones. You don't this, have to rip them out of your in skull. This point, so you don't have to. There's there's kinds of you you just, they. Just oh, you want to clip on a mouth guard that looks like good teeth over your normal? No, teeth? No, no, they're not clip ons. They're permanent. But you want to come, dude? Why is everybody so worried about my mouth? Because you have a good mouth already. <laughs> You have a good smile is what meant it was what was supposed to come out. You have good teeth. You have a good mouth. Oh, that's insane. All right. So uh, I was I just oh uh, fuck. Um, I was thinking about something because after this, uh, right now is the State Fair of Texas, right? And this obviously studio is in Dallas. The State Fair is in Dallas. <laughs> What's going on? Man? Just excited for the state fair. Me too. Um, I'm going to be a glizzy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Oh. I didn't know we leashed How to Train Your Dragon oh. to shoot oh, for this their fourth movie look in what, our studio. Look what is in the studio right now. That is the biggest. Is that a cockroach or a cricket? That I pray to God it's a cricket. It's a cricket. Oh wow! Don't go get him. Let him survive. Yeah. What do you, you, you just sit, you sit down, down over there, doing? Steve Irwin? Yeah. What do you? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> she did not just disrespect. My wife, Steve Irwin. You don't know the crocodile hunter? Oh, it's a Billy right there. He's doing the crocodile row. Do you see? You see, you see this croc right here? It's, it's a beautiful this beast. This named Alvin. It's got. Oh my God! She was She's thinking, thinking uh, Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey for Steve Irwin. Oh wow! Yeah, St if I'd Steve say, Irwin got murked you know, by maybe a stingray, you can go. You can go different routes to kind of. Differentiate those. One's still here. One's not. One has a mustache. One didn't. Oh, one's black. <laughs> yeah, and one's, one's white. Australian. One's Australian. Oh, Australian. One's American. All right. So we'll, the state we'll fair. Fill you in later, <laughs> yeah. this, we'll give you some Googles. Yeah. This um, the state fair is this weekend, and I was hearkening back to a previous state fair that we went to, uh, maybe like two years ago, maybe oh, three. And this was right after I got out of a relationship and I was getting to that point of a breakup where you're, you know, ready to get back onto the scene. And I'm still hurt and still real still hurt, timid, yeah. very timid. But all my friends, my lovely friends here were like, you got to get back out there, Peyton, you're a catch, you know, she didn't deserve you. So now not when you do this, but yeah. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let me, I, I was letting my friends gas me up. There's a lot of people at the fair, people from Oklahoma, people Hundreds from Texas. Oh people. my God. And you know, there were some beautiful ladies there. I didn't have the supreme confidence at the time. And you know, I'm already You're not- still a, broken. Yeah, I'm already not a confident You're dude. You're a sad man. Thank you. <laughs> I'm already not confident too much as it is to go up to people, I don't do you it. should be. Oh, thank you, dude. It's all right. Um, but there was this lovely woman passing by, right there by the concession stand. And I was like, oh yeah. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would marry her. I would court her. Mm -hmm. I told Cam about it. I told the rest of my friends about it. I was like, I want, I want to talk to her. How do I do it? I can hear your eye. That was unbelievable. We're having that again. <laughs> Golly, allergies. Um, and you, you would court her. Yeah, and you did tell us. Yeah, so I told them, and they were like, "Go do it. This is your chance, Peyton. You go get back out there. You're back." And I was like, "Okay, I'll do it." I went up to her. And I, I should have rehearsed my lines before I, I went up to her. And I just, the first thing that came to my head was, hey, do you have a boyfriend or a phone number? Not the worst, not the worst. That's pretty down bad, but. Is that bad? Yes. That's a little, yeah. Well, no, I, it wasn't. Yes or no. Like, do you have a boyfriend or a phone number? And if she gave me the phone number, she always gave me the number. I have a boyfriend, see? It doesn't mean that. Well, that's not, a, that's not that's my not my responsibility. Yeah. yeah. So she, but that's not even the, the worst part. It did work. She gave me her phone number. I was excited. I was like, oh my God, I'm back in the game. As soon as I walk around, I, I turn back around. All my friends are like lined up looking at me and they're like, yeah, I should have waited to celebrate. I celebrated as soon as I turned back around oh. and I said, I got it. And she saw me celebrate to y'all. 
I texted her, and um, I haven't heard back from her in, yep. in three years. Yep. I absolutely You do remember that? Yep. Yeah. Remember him showing us the text to like, hey, do you think like maybe like her phone died or something? Like it's pretty hot. Maybe it's and I'm like, yeah, phone died. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. okay though. Yeah. It's, well, it's good. I, I well, my lonely loneliness hasn't changed since yeah, then. It's still. I saw her on my for you page like two days ago. Mm, wow, she's a model. Mm, okay. So now, but but let's let's just fl- let's, just, let's <laughs> reverse <laughs> roles, right? Right. Say you're model. You're said model. Girl I am a model. Okay, you're not, but I am. Let's. You're not, but let's, I, I am. So you're not, but if you were, <laughs> let's say you are, because right. you're not right now. No, but so I am. I could this, be if I wanted to be. For this scenario, I could do whatever I want to be. So you could. I be, could be whatever I want to be. I could do whatever I want to do. That's also not true. I can do whatever I want to do. No, you can. <laughs> I can't do whatever I want to do. No. If I want to kick you in the jaw right now, I can't do it. You can do that. <laughs> if I wanted to jump around three times and then pull my pants down and say Sally out loud, I could do it, couldn't I? You could do that. What can I not do that I want to do? Could you jump off of the edge of a 10-foot pool and survive? Jump off Into the, the edge. water? <laughs> Couldn't do that, could you? Because you can't swim. Oh, Cameron. What? Come on. He wants to, ooh, I can do anything and everything. Try that one out. <laughs> do that without a lifeguard. Do that without me in the body of water. See how that one works for you, Mr. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. I was a We're pool monitor. I was a pool monitor in, in high school. That was my first job, and I don't know how to swim. Yeah, that's just like the woman that gave you your driver's license. <laughs> that's sickening. But anyway. She was so scared. Yeah, scared for her life. So I probably gave it to you. So let's just flip the script, right? Right, let's Say do that. Say you are a model, because you're not. So we've established that now. You're not, but you could be. Ooh. Good job. You're not. So say you are. Girl comes up to you. She looks good. Equally as good as you look to her, she looks to you, right? That was a good math problem. Okay, there you go. I <laughs> see it. Uh, yeah. yeah, dude. It's right there still. It's right there. It's right there. Kill it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, it's gone. You look the wrong way. You're like a damn Labrador. Okay. So girl comes up to you. She's not a model. Right. You are a model in this scenario. Okay. Not in real life. <laughs> so, she, <laughs> so she comes up. She's great, whatever, do to do I want to court this guy. Do you have a girlfriend or a number? You go, number, give her the number, right? right? And she turns around, and she's looking at her group of friends, and she goes, yeah, yes! I would love that. You'd love that. I, I, whenever I get a girlfriend, I want her to be, like, so excited to be okay, around me. Okay, that's not your girlfriend. That's a random girl. But that, that will make me want her to be my girlfriend. But in her eyes, she probably said this guy is like that was either a prank or he didn't mean it genuinely because if he immediately turns around and talks to them like I did it, it's like did they bet him five bucks? Is he a lunatic? Is he weird? <laughs> that's fair. So that's that's kind of the picture I was trying to Picasso for that's you. That's fair. But yeah, no, it's been about three years. She never texted back. Nope. Yeah, still says red at uh, at twelve fifty seven. I almost said her name just now. <laughs> um, I cannot wait. To go to this fair, I'm going to be a glizzy gladiator. I am going to That's chomp on a, gla- on a glizzy. What? Yeah, Liv wants a pickle pizza. Yeah, that's disgusting. I don't know why. Like, where did you? We'll where find it even... for you, and I'll get it for you. But I'm not partaking. What is a pickled pizza? Yeah, where do you? Are you kidding me? Well, it's a pizza. Obviously, with pickles, it's a pizza though. with pickle. But what else? Is it literally like? Is it still dough with sauce and cheese and then pickles on it? Because that sounds. Yeah, that's a dumb question. It's just a pickled pizza. Obviously, but is it literally? Dough, same sauce, same cheese, and then there's pickles on it? Yes. That's gross. That's gross. That's yeah, worse I mean, than all the whole pineapple debate. The yeah. whole Oh, I have a huge pizza pet peeve. And if you do this with your pizza, grow up a little bit. How about that? We already know if you do stuffed crust pizza above the age of 13, grow up. You know what I mean? That's not mature. But if you get a pizza slice and right. you fold it to dip it in something or fold it to eat it, open your mouth. You know what I mean? I'm a big fold guy. Oh, that's why I don't like you. That's why we got underlying big, tension. Big fold guy. <laughs> big fold guy. There's, what is that? Because I don't want to have to double hand this this triangle to eat it and let it... Why don't you pull down. out a fork and a knife and start cutting it if that's what we're doing? So you think... A fork and a knife, utensils for a handheld entree is better than someone folding it, being a problem solver, no. using their brain and going about it's it that a, way. It's just it's a, it's a, it's the same amount of disgusting and wrongness. It's the same amount of wrongness. So if you get a slice of New York style pizza, 
the crust portion no, 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 is like 14 okay, inches. Okay, no, no, no. Let's not, let's not start doing uh, like exterior variables. Let's do the normal Papa John's Domino's. I'm not folding a normal slice okay, pizza. Okay, well, that's fun. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the, when the, it gets the munchkins that are out there. Be, no, that's, yeah, that's different. If it's a normal slice, I'm grabbing at the end, putting the index in the middle, getting a little slight just firmness, yeah. <laughs> biting it. If it's a big New York style, I'm literally taking it bow to bow like I'm doing towels, and it's going... There's a lot. It. There's a I'm lot. Eating it like a sandwich. None of the grease is dripping on me. None of that's getting on the exterior. It's just going right into the gullet. There is a lot of food pet peeves that I have, and one of them is is food that is in the shape of a skeleton. You know what I mean? I don't like skeleton food. What? You ever seen those expensive like seafood restaurants, and then oh, you see the head yeah. of the fish, and then there's it's a rib cage popping oh, out. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Why is that here? Yeah, like I don't want to look the thing I'm about to eat in the eye as I'm eating. Yeah, it. I don't want to see your eyeballs. I don't want to look it's at a, a weird, carcass. It's a weird dilemma. Yeah, I'm 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 with you on that one. Yeah, and and then they and then they bring over some Pellegrigiano sparkling yeah. water or whatever it yeah. is. Topo just Chico. give me just give me something. Give me something out the tap, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I'm okay. I don't with the tap, but just give me some purified water, some good water. And I don't like people that make fun of me on how I eat my ramen noodles. I don't like ramen. it. Ramen. 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 I will die on this hill. This is a hill I will die on. Ramen noodles. I feel like it's 50-50. <clears throat> I'm going to get the most clear diction I have ever got for this show. <laughs> it is ramen noodles. Nothing more. Nothing less. Regardless of what it's called, I don't like people that make fun of me on how I digest how it and how it? I, I take it out of the package. As one does, you know. I, I'm talking about not the kind in the cup. I'm talking about yeah. the kind that comes like this, you know, cup like the little square, the rectangular one that comes in the little pouch, right? So I take it out of its uh, of its uh, of its casing, right? I open it up. Package, yep. I take it out of its package. There That's go. a good word. Yep. I take it out of its package. I grab the seasoning, open the seasoning. I sprinkle it up, and sometimes I break it so it can be like a little sandwich of seasoning, and I just eat it. Now, if you have a problem with that, mind your own damn business. I swear that's how I eat my ramen noodles. That's why you're a freak. What's wrong with eating it like that? Because you're sitting there eating a concrete sandwich <laughs> with no season. Like, yeah, your seasoning's on. It's going to fall right off. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, but. Yeah. You're eating. That's like, that's like, I eat my spaghetti with the spaghetti. I put the sauce over the noodles and I bite into it. That's not the same. <laughs> They're both a noodle and you're eating one raw. But one of them's made so you can eat it raw. I think people just choose to eat it raw. I don't think it's made to be eaten raw. Ate raw. Eat, ate. In college, remember when I would eat ramen in my bed like that? No, I do remember you almost <laughs> burning our apartment down, though. What happened? Because you tried to make ramen and you didn't put water in the freaking bowl and you put it in the microwave for five minutes with no, no source <laughs> of liquid in there. And all of a sudden it's smoking. We look into the thing. The bowl is demolished and melted to the bottom. The microwave on the inside is black. And the fire alarm almost went off. I do remember that one. I forgot about that. See, that's what happens whenever I try to do it the traditional way. I almost call it, I cause a forest fire. Okay, well, first off, traditional is not throw it in the microwave. That's just people being lazy. And yes, I called you out. If that's how you make your ramen. And it's not for five minutes. Max is two. <laughs> Ask that guy. <laughs> Max might be two, maybe three. He put it for five with no water. We just went to the movie theater the other day, and it had me oh. thinking, I have some huge movie theater pet peeves. Things that just shouldn't be allowed. Like, like ag I'd, again, unspoken <laughs> rules that are broken. First of all, this doesn't even have to do with people, but I went to a movie theater the other day. The movie theater, dirty. That should never yeah. happen. I don't like a dirty movie theater. When I walked in there, my sneaker was <laughs> sticking to the floor. Yeah. It was it sounding like Daffy Duck was trying to make it yeah. to his seat. <laughs> Squidward is now in our movie, in, in the middle of it. <laughs> it was one of the most unbelievable movie theaters I've ever been into. No cleanliness went on inside of that AMC. Yeah, it was Zero bad. sanitation. So I was sitting there watching my film, trying to enjoy my experience. All of a sudden, I hear a scuffle under my seat. I'm like, the I'm like, the hell's going on? Did somebody drop their cellular device? What's going on under my seat? Yeah. 
I hear like a oh, oh hell no. And then it just starts to scatter back and forth. I'm like, there is a rodent yeah. under my seat right I now. I remember ordering the 4D version of Stuart Little on the screen. I don't need theatrics in live action play under the seat. Try to enjoy as a six seven man a movie like this. I should never have Cooped to go up. through this when I'm trying to enjoy a movie ever. <laughs> Then all of us We should never have to do that stance in any scenario in life. I already don't fit in the reclined seats. Yeah, now yeah. my knees are near my earlobe. Should never happen. Ever. So after the I don't know where the rodent went halfway through the movie, it stopped bothering. Maybe it went to sleep. Maybe it bothered another theater. Maybe it found a tub of popcorn. I don't know. I stopped hearing the rodent. But then all of a sudden, as I'm enjoying my movie, I started to hear a smack to my right. And I'm like, is somebody like really enjoying their gummy bears right now? Like what's going on? I look over. Some teenagers fornicating in the movie theater. Yeah, I, it's like, what are we what are you doing? doing? If you have to spend eight ninety nine, maybe maybe ten ninety nine on a ticket to get a makeout session, in, what what are you doing with yeah, your life? I'm watching Vin Diesel run away from the rock and fast. Mm -hmm. What about this is making you want to kiss right now? Yeah, it's a sick place. There's just certain things that shouldn't happen at a movie theater. You want to know one place a movie theater isn't? <laughs> what? A picnic site. If you <laughs> go to the movies with a blanket pillows in a bag full of food i don't know i don't know what we're doing i kid you not i went to see uh well it was some liam neeson movie this was a while back ago right mm -hmm. i go this guy comes in nothing to him could be a good guy and everything he's giving me sketchy vibes yeah he has a huge backpack first off what's in it yeah you shouldn't have that what's much in your you shouldn't backpack? have luggage here because there's not security at the front i don't know what's in your bag okay so not the whole theater, because I'm, I'm the type of guy I like going early, get the whole 12 minutes of previews, exactly. see what I'm going to go see next month, you know, end of the year, something like that. Yep. The whole theater is empty. This man sits in the same row as me. Nope, don't do that. Same row as me. You're wrong. There's 22 rows to choose from. He chooses the same one I'm in. So immediately I'm like, all right, I'm not liking this. I, I really don't. Okay, starts rummaging through the bag. I'm nope. like, okay, is this, I mean... <laughs> I don't want to have to run out of this theater. It's yeah. not It's not ideal for sprinting. I'm just trying to watch a film. Exactly. Okay? This man starts pulling out a four-course meal. Utensils, <laughs> utensils and all. This isn't finger food. Was this it plasticware or silverware? It was glass tubware. Like he lit this this was his leftovers from last night's dinner. <laughs> That's how like he he thought he was in his living room. This man's pulling out. I I kid you not. One two, three, like containers of food. Like he's at a taste tester right now. Brings out the little pack that has his own little cloth with the utensils, right? I'm in the middle of watching Liam Neeson try to save someone per usual. I'm just getting Brussels sprouts just from the left of me. It, it's such a bad experience at this point. This man sitting here cutting some mm -hmm. sort of meat, going yeah. full-fledged in. I'm like, sir, this isn't a restaurant. Yeah. This is a movie theater. Yeah. It, it's uh, it's just if you do that first off how'd you get in the movie theater sucks apparently because they didn't stop you they didn't ask any questions second off why'd you sit next to me thirdly i don't remember ordering a, a to-go service of brussels sprouts and turkey breast. yeah i shouldn't smell vegetables at the I movie theater sh i should never smell vegetables at a movie theater nachos popcorn maybe some candy that's all that my nostrils should have to deal with while i'm watching this film it's, I mean, it's just unreal. Also, real controversial. People are going to get mad at me for saying this. If you have kids, leave them at home. Leave them at home. If you can't, if you can't get a babysitter that night, you're not seeing the movie. Yeah, if you're not watching Minions or Paw Patrol, why is your kid at the showing of Insidious 3? Yeah. Why is he here? Of course he's going to scream and not stop crying. Take him out. Yeah, I don't want to feel a little size two feet hitting my reclined seat i'm not i didn't pay for that i, don't I didn't pay it, I, for this experience yeah i also didn't pay to hear candy crush the whole time put your phone in your pocket yeah that bright ass ipad i don't want to see that the kid <sighs> stays at home huh the kid stays at home the kid leaves some that's but okay if you want to go on a limb and you're trying to make it work you know i respect that you're trying to be super mom super dad i get that i respect it if he or she starts crying Either you take care of it, or I'm taking care of it. Because at this point, I didn't pay for this. Hey, shut Yeah, it's like, like control your kid. Silence, silence your kid. Silence your kid. It's like this is PTSD happening. I didn't. We all went through that stage. I am no longer an adolescent. I don't want to argue. I don't want to mm -hmm. hear arguments. I don't want to hear, wah, wah, no. I will snitch. I will yeah. call the, the, the usher to escort you out. Yeah, I'm it's, sorry. It's like it's like a, a, a low-key snitch show. The usher comes in, and you're just like, 
You're just in your it's a, row G. It's that one. It's that one. Yeah, it's like go to the movie, watch the movie. Yeah, unbelievable. That's, I mean, pet peeves. They just they're everywhere. But a movie theater, again, you buy your ticket, you watch the film. Then you leave and yeah. talk about it. And that's, and that's, it's not it's, a cheap experience. I'm paying a car payment to be here. Yeah, like, I want to just, enjoy it. It's a one, two, three. Exactly. It's, you buy it, you watch it, you leave. Yeah. You don't, you, it's not a picnic. Yeah. You don't, it can be a date, but it's like, come on. You know, your first date shouldn't be the movies. I know you want to feel comfortable, but you need to talk to the person. Movies is a terrible first date. It's awful. And everyone you that can't thinks, talk. I mean, it's bad. And you, yet, it's horrible. Yeah, I don't want to hear... I don't want to hear gummy bear manufacturing in the background just swapping spit when yeah. I'm trying to watch this film. Yeah, sticky floors, rodents, Brussels sprouts, big bags, kids shouldn't be at a movie theater. Yeah, that leave, leave the happen. blanket at home. You can be wear a hoodie. You can be comfy if you want. Leave your blanket at home. We're not we're not on your sectional. This isn't your living room. This is public. All right. So before we get out of here, that we were very passionate about that. Yeah, it's it's because you're in my space. I'm in before, your space. Um, Ashton, will you throw me the big remote, please? We're going to do a Discord call. All right, can't pick somebody out of the Discord right now. If you want to be a part of, we tried to call Sarah. She's a day one to the, to the podcast in the Discord, but she did not answer. So we're going to have to find a replacement right now. So Cam's going through the Discord right now, and he's going to find us somebody to, um, to call. If you want to be in the Discord, the link is in the description. Oh, we got Shelby. Is it Shelby? Hi. Shelby, how are you guys? We're good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Well, sorry. Uh, we were trying to, we called you, but then we realized that we had some technical issues. So it was on our end. So, but we're glad to have you on. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad that you fixed your um, technical problems. Thank you. You know, it, it takes big brain activity yeah, here. Yeah. You, know, you know, I dropped out of school. I'm not the smart. Hey, uh, yeah, you know, I did have Oh, it. no, no, <laughs> he fixed it, but thank you for that one, yeah. Peyton typically, uh, yeah, he's, what just happened? She's still, you still oh, on, okay. right? okay, we heard something else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what is, what, how are you enjoying the Discord so far? What is your favorite part? Um, I am. My favorite part, you know, is, you know, Sarah crying about how you don't give her enough attention. I, okay, that's fine because we just tried to call her and she didn't answer. And she didn't answer, so <laughs> that's crazy. That's you know what? I'll get on her about that. Do Thank do you. do that? What what is your what is I your? I will because you know. Go ahead. She's out here acing all these pests, and you know you won't even hang them up, man. Exactly. Right, yeah. Well, I I, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> but what is uh <laughs> what is your uh favorite part of the pocket? What's the favorite your most favorite thing that we've done? That y'all have done? See. You you and your lacking has got me down by far. <laughs> I've, I'm when trying to fix it. When you start doing that thing, uh, that's empty. I mean, that's it. I'm, I'm trying to fix it because y'all always make fun of me in the Discord. Everybody's talking about right, I sound right, like Lisa. So. I sound like a phone on silent. I sound like an eraser. Everybody's making fun of me. I'm trying to fix it. No, I do it too. It's okay. I, I do it too. That's why it's funny. Okay, good. Then then we're in this together. You have to start defending me when they make fun of me. I, I try. You don't help me out there. I have to start the riots and I have to tell them to go back into freaking time out, man. <laughs> Yeah, the Discord gets out of hand sometimes, but I love you. It's a big happy family over there. It is. It's great. Cam, do you have anything? No, Shelby, so as you've seen in the past on the full uh, podcast, whenever we get someone in a Discord call, you can ask us any question. It can be a would you rather. It can be a, hey, what, you know, what made this or what about this, whatever. Do you have anything for us? Or any question that you've ever wanted to know. Exactly. Um, hey, since you're so, like, socially awkward, is it different in front of a camera? Ooh, rather that, than like when you're on live um yeah okay so like in re my regular day life i'm way more quiet like i don't yeah. i don't talk that much but like obviously on here like i have to or it would be like a silent podcast <laughs> but yeah i mean i'm i'm very awkward everywhere i go that's gonna stay with me no matter where i go but uh i'm i'm normally very l less talkative like if we were in an environment and i it, if Cam's not there, really, I'm silent. 
took him the co-conspirator here, like the main conspirator. Yep, yeah, that would that would be my rule. His life coach is. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. You can lead him in yoga. You guys should try goat yoga. Excuse me? <laughs> what you just? Uh, what is that? I think I'm not gonna try bring yoga some, with animals and. I'm so serious. Just bring some goats into the office and call it a day. Do some yoga. <laughs> bring some goats into the studio that would be insane that would be absolutely wild and if you aren't supplying said goats not too sure where we're just going to get our hands on these farm animals <laughs> y'all live in texas you gotta at least see some kind of goat see uh, yeah, we'll, we'll i'll call up some people yeah, see if goats we can... are far and few uh where we are right now that, that makes sense. Go on Craigslist and just look up renting some goats. Surely someone's crazy enough to do that. Imagine a goat sure, going through I'm, FedEx. Yeah, I'm sure someone is definitely renting goats out there. They're like, all right, bring it back by six. I mean, people around me would. What, so, what, so where is around you? Yeah. Where, where is this at? The bum of nowhere. <laughs> I literally, I, well, I live in Maryland, but I live on like, the eastern shore side, and that that's what we call it. And I literally live in like middle of like soybean field. Oh, damn. Oh, All right. Wow. Well, yeah, I bet there is some goats. Yeah, but there's a lot of farm life out there. Um, but um, we're about to drop the merch here in a couple weeks. Are, can I plan on you getting some You Should Know merch? You know, you know, I think some of us. And the Discord should get a chance to, you know, get a free sample. But yeah, I'll buy something. I'll probably get a sweatshirt, honestly. Oh, the, I'm mm. gonna take I'm gonna take care of y'all in the Discord. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little some some. I can't contest. I can't I can't say it here on the podcast for all the people that are in the Discord. Well, we, we got it cooking though. We got, got something for y'all. You gotta trust us. It's in the kitchen. You know, it's I, still the water's still boiling. Hey, all right. If you get what I'm saying. All right, then then I'll just say I'll buy a sweatshirt, but I want a handwritten letter in there. I got you. I got you. You got it. I got you. Well, thank you so much I'll for being here. I'll bring it, and I'll put it on my fridge. Oh, hey. There we go. Th that's even better. Every time you go to get some of that goat milk, you're going to see that <laughs> handwritten letter. I would not be drinking goat milk. Uh, goat soybean yoga and goat milk, milk are different things. <laughs> All right. We're just kidding, but yes, we got you on that. But, um... So I just want to say thank you for joining the Discord, being in there and, and you know, interacting. I see all y'all stuff, even though you don't think I do. I see everything. And I love y'all. And I, I appreciate you, Shelves. Appreciate you guys. You guys, I want you guys to know this, that you have created this amazing community of these people who genuinely do care about each other. Like a lot of us who interact with each other actually have added each other on different platforms and are already talking about meeting up. So I want you guys to know that whenever you guys feel like quitting this, don't because you have a lot of people standing behind you and you have created a lot of friendships that are like yours and Cam. Thank you. You don't get me all yeah, emotional. Me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is, yeah. I got to get a little sobby because I love you guys so much. Thank you. You guys have done a lot. Yeah, God damn. <laughs> That was hey. That was absolutely the best way the, this episode could have ended, and we just, you know, <laughs> Peyton has now put on his sunglasses to hide his tears from the camera. I want you to know that, Shelby. But that that was very uh, that was awesome. Thank you so much for that. And that you know that is the point, and that is the goal of why we do this and why we you know created the Discord and just the steps that are gonna keep coming in the future and everything and. And, you know, we plan on a whole a meet and greet for everyone, but that's yep. amazing to hear that y'all are already talking about it amongst yourselves. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for those kind words. You guys are, don't stop doing what you're doing. I love you guys very, very much. We love, we love you, you too, too, Shelby. Y'all have a great week. All right, you too. I'll Thank talk you, to you too. soon. Yep. Go get those soybeans. And Bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye, Shelby. Bye. I, I banged it a little too early. I'm sorry. My finger twitched. I'm emotional. My hands are yeah, shaking. He's, he's, he's I'm, out of I'm there, sorry. That was that was great. I mean, that was awesome. Shout Thank out you to so the much, Discord Shelby. family. Shout out to everybody who watched the podcast. Um, we love you so much. Um, I got to end this before I become an emotional wreck, but... Thank you to everybody. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join the Discord so you can be a part of this great family. Um, the, secret, the secret code it. today is... Um, 
Um, goat milk. So I mean, S B A G S B A G soybeans and goats. Soybeans and goats. Shout out to Shelby. Shout out to everybody in the, the Discord. Casual. Shout out to Shelby. Um, remember, one out of ten qualifiers don't make it home to Christmas, and I'll see you next week. Cam. He's not going to be here next week, but it's okay. We have some pre-recorded stuff, so technically he'll be here in all the Ashland stands. Y- y'all will get heard, too. So next week will be great. I love you so much, and I'll see you Episode 30. next time. Run it back. See you, Dragon.